السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو کمپیوٹر گیٹ وے چینل فار دا سبجیکٹ آف انٹروڈکشن ٹو انفارمیشن اینڈ کمیونیکیشن ٹیکنالوجیز اسٹوڈنٹس بفور آئی ڈسکس دا امپورٹینس آف سسٹم سافٹ ویئر یو شوڈ گو تھرو دا ایگزامپلس آف سسٹم سافٹ ویئر ڈیٹ از ایم ایس ڈوس مائکروسافٹ ڈسک آپریٹنگ سسٹم ونڈوز اینڈ لائن ایکس لیٹس ہیو اے لک MS-DOS stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. It is the operating system that is used for personal computers in the 1980s and early 1990s. Microsoft Disk Operating System was the primary operating system for IBM PC compatibles in the 1980s. It was the first widely installed operating system on personal computers and was used until windows 95 became the most popular operating system in 1995 it was known for its command line interface where users interacted with the computer by typing commands it is a single user operating system a type of operating system in which only one user can work at a time key features of microsoft disk operating system the first is command line interface microsoft disk operating system provides command line interface where user types text commands to interact with the computer this was in contrast to the graphical user interface which we are using today file management the user could create delete rename and move files and directories using commands like md del copy dir etc hardware control this operating system provide basic control over hardware components like disk drives printers and the display running programs ms dos could execute programs directly from the command line or by typing their names foundations for windows microsoft disk operating system became the foundation for future operating systems like windows which evolved from its command line roots in short Microsoft Disk Operating System played an important role in the development of a personal computers. Its influence can still be seen in the command line interfaces and file systems used in modern operating system. Some common Microsoft Disk Operating System commands are DIR. This command lists files and directories present in the drive. Its syntax is type dir and get the directories and files present in the drive cd command cd stands for change directory this command allows you to navigate through the directory structure and you can also change the current working directory by using this command its syntax is c cd and the path of the directory md you can use this command to create a new directory with the specified name its syntax is md and the path of the directory rd remove directory you can use this command to delete an empty directory folder with the specified name its syntax is rd and the location of the directory copy you can use this command to copy one or more files from one location to another its syntax is copy source address of the file and the destination address of the file del command this command allow you to delete one or more files from the current directory or a specified directory its syntax is del and the file name date command displays the current date while 
time command displays the current time. You can also use these commands to change the date and time of the system. Students, the next slide will show how you can use these commands by using command prompt. To apply DIR command, simply go to the command prompt and type DIR. By pressing enter, you will get the directories and files present in your system. If you want to make a new directory, type md and the name of the directory in the command prompt and by pressing enter, this directory is created in E drive. If you type dir command to see that directory, you can see this directory is created in the system. And if you want to change this directory, you can use the cd command. Type cd test and by pressing enter, you can change this directory. If you want to use the date and time command, you can do it in the command prompt. Just type date keyword and by pressing enter, you will get the date of the system and you can change this date. If you don't want to change it, then simply press enter. Similarly, you can apply the time command. And this is the current time of the system. To create a file, you can use the copycon command. Copy, con and the name of the file. abc.txt then write the content of the file here and press F6 from the keyboard to save this file or to end the contents by pressing enter this file is created in the E drive. You can see by typing the dir command, this file is created. Students, if you want to copy this file from one location to another, you can use the command of copy. Copy abc.txt First, write the source address and then the destination address where you want to copy it. I want to copy it in the D drive. I will type here D. And by pressing enter, this file is copied in the D drive. Similarly, students, if you want to delete this file, you will use the command of del type del and the name of the file this file will be deleted you can see it by typing dir command and if you want to delete any folder you will use the command of rd and the name of the directory here the name of the directory is test this directory will be deleted you can see. In the next part of this video, I will discuss the Windows and Linux operating system as well as the importance of system software. Till then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe Computer Gateway channel and hit the bell icon to get notification for the latest videos.